Uh, uh, what was that? Oh, he's kept Rintaro. What the heck? <laughs> Why did he keep Rintaro? It's time for the motive video. What in the world is gonna be in this? Welcome back, Tri-Tech, everybody. We gotta oh, hurry. God. Yeah, we're on a timer. Yeah. I was about to do an no intro. No time for intros. We're just, just we're going. Okay, yep. we're trying to figure out who the mastermind is. There are matching <laughs> shoes and suits of many colors here. What couldn't this guy do? Why does he need an afro? Disguise. Hmm. This is the ultimate supreme leader's lab. Are these uniforms for the other members of the organization? There are some unsettling objects here. Gas mask, handcuffs. There are also wigs and glasses for disguises, I imagine, but they seem comical. They do. Hmm. This doesn't seem like something the Remnant of Despair would use. Hmm, I wonder if he is the Remnant of Despair or if that's still debatable yet. Who knows? Ooh, helicopter controller. Oh, I thought that was going to be all it did. Looks like the controller's over there. This guy's just Spy Kids the movie. Yeah, a little bit. Well, Spy Kids is a movie, but... He is oh. the embodiment of the movie Spy Kids. There you go. A supercar. Is this the kind of thing that members of this evil organization drive around? But would an evil organization really want to drive around in such flashy cars? Hmm. This is more like a child's idea of what an evil organization would have. That's true. That's kind of weird. He might just be like the ultimate, like, psychiatric pay... You know? <laughs> yeah. A toy helicopter. Is this Kokichi's? A large table, what I imagine is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of particular interest on top of the table. I don't care about the table. What's on the screens? Central chair? Oh, it floats. This is Kokichi's chair. Definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. Who is the Makoto kid we saw? My guess is Rentaro. Or maybe it is Kokichi. Yeah, because this seems like very childish. Like, I saw the little RC helicopter and thought, that's like something the little kid would want. Yeah, but something feels off. It's all too cliche. Feels as if this entire room is just an elaborate prank. Huh. <laughs> this must be the emblem of the organization that Kokichi leads. But do the remnants of despair put up emblems? So is the question just, is he a remnant of despair? I think so. Is this book? Uh, I don't know. How should I know? Kokichi didn't seem to feel like he was. Remember, because Maki barges in like, You're a remnant of despair, and he's like, I'm a what? <laughs> you mean an ultimate hope? No, Kokichi didn't know oh, anything oh, about okay, remnant okay, of okay. despair. Gotcha. There's a collection of files here bound like a book. Huh? The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? Hey, that's important. I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Was the Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy. Information on Hope's Peak Academy, Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair. I want to see second game stuff. Oh, you there, do? You yeah, do. there it is at the bottom left. Woo! This fat Biakuya. <laughs> Forgot about him. Uh, I loved him. This is a history of the battle between hope and despair. We've already remembered all this. We know this information. I don't suppose to make for a particularly useful clue. I don't suppose... No, something's not right. Something is off because the things written in this book... Got a minute? Do you really have time to read a book? Go away! Ugh. Maki! I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Hope's Peak Academy. What's the point of reading this now? You already remembered Hope's Peak Academy with the flashback light, didn't you? No. Yes, I thought that as well. Hey! Ah, Maki, this is perfect timing. Will you come with me? What are we doing? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Why? Huh? But why? That's... I need to check something important. So is the book or our memories false, perhaps? One of the two, yeah. <sighs> I don't really understand, but I just need to talk about it, right? She gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh, then started speaking in bored narration. <laughs> It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Okay, so we went through this with Shuichi. Let's listen to what's different with her story. Right. Why we didn't compare right after getting the flashback the light. The world was plunged into ruin. And humanity... I mean, the biggest the thing I noticed is they never mentioned the second game. Yeah. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. But I mean, the second game isn't really important to the world to know, though. Like, everyone would learn about the first killing game just through basic education, but the second one's, like... There is some benefit to keeping the, these remnants of despair alive a secret. Yeah. The ultimate despair. 
Junko and Oshima in order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity Though, and how the do world they... into utter despair. If they know who the remnants of despair were, which were the second game cast, how come they never mentioned the second game cast then? You think you'd- Well, I don't think the second game cast was the only remnants of despair. I it just, it seems, in, it's just a concept that's very much from the second game. Well, I'm guessing people followed Junko even well, well after events of the second game. I don't know, it just, it, it itches me wrong, I think. That what, they'd mention what one, you wrong? That they'd mention the remnants of despair, but not the people from two. Like, those were the remnants of despair. I'm not saying there weren't more, but I would think those were like the ones who- so Those were the, weren't they called the ultimate despairs? Or didn't they have some specific name that wasn't just remnants of despair? Maybe. She so. organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. <laughs> Yikes. Trapped by the ultimate despair. Oh, spoilers. The yeah, don't look at this, guys. was forced to participate in the killing game. But in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The Future Foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on, until one day, when the war suddenly ended. The meteorites, right? You can skip that part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Is that all right? Do you remember anything about the new Hope's Peak Academy? <sighs> As for Hope's Peak Academy, it was later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. She doesn't mention Makoto. Mm-mm. That's the only difference I can think of. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Ooh, thinking face. No, that doesn't make sense because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Okay. What's the book say? Then, what is written in the book? Are these just lies? Or are they... Oh. I turn to one of the pages, almost without thinking. What's wrong? No. Ah, it's just the afterword written on the last page. Hmm. It says as these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. This is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Hmm. Well, it says it's the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true... What does yeah. it say? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. In order to investigate this, I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Maki, I think I'm gonna go to Kokichi's room now. Need to look in his underwear drawer. What? Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were the truth and which were lies. Okay. Including if he really was a remnant of despair. What are you trying to pull? Huh? There's no doubt that he was a remnant of despair. Because in that memory... Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's what you want to do, then I won't stop you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Does it have something to do with Kokichi being maybe around during the first and second game's events? I'm guessing Kokichi might be that kid. That kid? That could make sense. And then maybe that wouldn't really Maybe consist. the person he was looking up to was Junko and Oshima, and that was his looking on his phone like, Oh my god, I love you, Junko! Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Never would have imagined this. The Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough we need to find the truth. Uh, uh. What was that? I don't know. Stop it! Uh. What is this? What's happening? <laughs> the colors are inverting! Hey! Oh, it's the delayed flashback thing. Oh, you're right, you're right. Monokuma said it had a special effect. That's the kid! Yeah! Hey, what's going on? Hello. Are you one of the chosen for the Gopher Project? <laughs> gopher Project? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the remnants of despair's doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Does it sound like anyone? Voice expert? Timmy Turner. Timmy Turner. Okay, you know, I'm honest, <laughs> like, it sounds like the same. I've heard that person do a bunch of voices for in a video. It sounds a lot like that. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. 
They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. So this was after they erased their memories to become normal people? Assuming that's what really happened. Yeah. I see. But you look just like him. Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor... I'm not scared of them. Because my dad told me the Future Foundation will take care of those meteorites. Suichi even seems to be like... No, that's definitely not me, like I promise. Yeah. If the Gopher Project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. That's not what the go... That's not what the go... We know the Gopher Project to do. No, we know no, it to I be... The Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. Save 16 of you? <laughs> yeah. Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. You're wrong! They didn't die! How would you know that? Because! Those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. What if it was? Shushi, you're so mean to this child. Well... I know, it's before <laughs> development, you know? Well, I, he was not even being that mean, he's just like... Telling him what he thinks. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Heroes don't die! Heroes don't give up! That's why they're still alive! Because they're heroes! Heroes? Is it Kaido? I don't think it needs to be anyone specifically, necessarily, but maybe. I know, but that does sound like Kaido talk. Uh-huh. That was a memory, right? N no. It's from that flashback light. Uh-huh. You remember anything, Maki? Hoo-hoo-hoo. This flashback light has a special effect. Is this... Shuichi, just now. Uh, okay. That must have been the flashback light, the one that Monokuma used after Kaido's trial. Huh? After Kaito's trial? Hey. What did you remember? Uh, um... That memory. I bullied a little elementary kid. <laughs> yeah. Was from when I tried to get away from the Gopher Project and threw away my talent. Oh, yeah. I remembered the same thing. But why? Why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will we experience another flashback like the one we just saw? Most definitely. Yeah. I don't know, but I can't hesitate now. We're gonna hey. click out of this menu and the timer is gonna be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maki, let's focus on the investigation. There are a lot of things we need to check. Well... You're heading to Kokichi's room, right? Then I'll go with you. Huh? You will? I don't need you to. Because... We actually might. I might be what that bond level is. True, maybe. So Maybe we like explore with everyone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Something about him concerns me. That's why I want to check. She looks worried. Did that flashback... Do you want to die? What? Do you want to die? Come on, girl. We're supposed to be besties now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Ah, no, nothing. Let's go. Even so, hero, huh? Yeah. All right. You've increased your bond. You can move more debris than before. Sweet. Right. Well, we only got so much time with Stip. Yeah, I'm leaving, dude. Hmm. I really wonder who that kid is. Yeah, I wonder if she saw the same kid. She might have. My biggest theory is that that's Kokichi. Because that would also explain Kokichi's really short height. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I mean, he, like, went in cryogenic sleep later than we did, so he had time to age. That, or he's, uh, just younger than we thought. Yeah. Uh, wait, going to his room's gonna be kinda hard. That <laughs> thing's kind of coming a for war you. going on outside right now. There he goes! <laughs> Kill me! No, get out of the way! Kill I me! Watch this. <laughs> where'd, he, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, but we're still on a timer, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about I just wanted to watch that for an hour. I was like, I wonder what the animation does. As much as I want to talk to you right now, Maki, no. Yeah, we need to hurry. I don't want to fail this and then have to redo the whole thing. That'd be gross. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, he's kept Rentaro. What the heck? <laughs> Why did he keep Rentaro? <laughs> this is so weird. What does he have under us? We'll see. Okay, so this is Kokichi's room. I don't know where he got all this stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but he should investigate it. You're right. Right. I would love to crawl around in this room for a day. I ah, seriously. By investigating this room, we might learn more about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed to the Gopher Project. In that effort, he tried to take the position of the mastermind. 
Flashback Light helped us remember that the organization was the Remnants of Despair. Yokichi was the leader of the Remnants of Despair. Yeah, so okay, I was right in that we never really got a definitive answer. It just seemed like it. Okay. But is that the real truth? I feel as though there may be a lie in there. Mm, let's look at this first. Yeah, I'm very interested. <laughs> you can't even look at it. What? Let's look at the pile. <laughs> there are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. These look like blueprints. What is bro doing? Huh? Blueprints? This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons, like ray guns and beam swords. Well... I wonder if the Electro Hammer and Electro Bomb blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind, and then selected a few for me to create. I don't understand. Looking at everything, a lot of these childish designs seem impossible to create. That's... That might have been Kokichi's intention. Huh? His intention? Remember. He could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Hmm. You mean, there might be something important hidden among this stuff? You're right. I believe that is a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then... Then I'll do it. Huh? Maki took a seat in front of one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, okay. Um, Maki. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No problem. She has faith in me. Good, thank you, lady. Hold on. Yeah, I'm so curious what that says over there. Maki suspicious. Mono cubs annoying. Trustworthy. Trustworthy quest. Oh, you're right. Trustworthy question mark. And then Kibo's weird. Anyway, we're still on a timer. Uh, I really want to look at something like the Rantaro. Why does he have that? <laughs> it's a mono cubs pad. They were given to all of us as motives during Karumi's case. Oh yeah, that'll tell us about him, right? Yeah, he must have kept his. But the motive videos were switched up, and we get each got someone else's video. That's true. I don't believe this motive video is Kokichi's. Then... Is it ours? Then there's no point in looking, is there? No. No, we should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. When I touched my fingers of the pad, the video started playing. No, it is All Kokichi's right. almost. Uh, okay. By popular demand, it's time for the motive video. What in the world is going to be in this? Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... What? Kokichi's... Kokichi Oma, the <laughs> ultimate supreme leader. All right. Nice. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Hmm. All right, that seems anyway, fitting. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. They said he had over like 10,000. <laughs> He's a liar. His goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> no. So this was Kokichi's motive video. I wonder if he thought he was like a super ultimate, really cool, ultra supreme leader. And then was just like, oh, I'm a loser. <laughs> well, he isn't the ultimate supreme leader then. Well, like, he's still a supreme leader of dice. <sighs> and they still caused... And that's ultimate worthy? He's something else entirely. Maybe he doesn't even have an ultimate. He's still talented. Oh, sure. That doesn't mean you don't have an ultimate. Yeah. But still, there's, just, there's more to it. Why? Why did he have his own motive video? Did he exchange it with someone else? No. Maybe he was given his own motive video from the start. Like Kurumi. I see. Oh, so Kurumi wasn't the only one who got their own motive video. Huh. Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. What would that motivate him to do? Just to kill someone? Because that's all the motive video is really for. That's the only way you'd find out. Well, so remember, it also tells him a little bit about his backstory. It also works as a flashback light, remember? That's true. So there could be more to the motive video than we even we know. Right. That is true, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's consistent with the information we already know about Kokichi. But what can I deduce from that? Just that he's not a despair guy. Mm. Never thought a motive video would be a concern now. <laughs> yeah. Kokichi gathering all those pieces of evidence was coincidence. Right? It's interesting he has Rentaro of all people. He has a crush. It's because he's mysterious. Hmm. Ah, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. This is the inner tube that was floating in the pool. Ah, 
And this is the book from the Cage Child Seance. <laughs> Why is he keeping all this? That punk. He was gathering all the evidence from the past incidents? Murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth is he gathering all this? No, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. He's a collector. Hey. I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaito believed Kokichi. He believed that someone's watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kichi does have a compelling point. Killing game only makes sense if there's an audience. Why else would there be all these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because... It's just like Junko and Oshima's killing game from the past. Hmm. Monokuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules and livening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was to show someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Uh, okay. That is a mystery. So either someone did, or someone is still alive somewhere. Yeah. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's still a truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair is another matter entirely. Killing game. <laughs> that covers just about everything in Kokichi's room. Find anything in Maki Roll? Hey. If you're done, you can leave. I'm gonna check the blueprints. But... But... Because... We rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're Kaito's sidekick. Maki. Well... But before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. Huh? Something strange? Uh, um... What is this? Is this a real will? No, no it, it well, isn't a will. But he's a liar, also. <laughs> oh. So maybe it is, maybe not. Is this... I think it is a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar, after all. But if it is real, why did he leave it? Could it be... He left us this information in case his plan failed. Read it! Huh? He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Well... We should look inside, then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope, small pieces of paper fell out. Huh? Huh, a second message, the wall next to the boiler? The second message is on the wall next to the boiler in the rear garden. Okay. All right. <sighs> That's all. It's probably another one of his horrible pranks. Hmm. Not sure about that. But... I should investigate just in case. It might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be dawn before you know it. Okay. Yeah. All right, I should head to the boiler in the garden. I want to see Rantaro's lab. All you right. might yet. I gotta go. I gotta run. Bye, Maki. Roll. Yeah, we're almost at halfway. Give me him. I need him. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Is this what he was talking about? Probably. The wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. Around here, this area used to be covered in gla grass, but it's been completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find it now. Ah, oh. oh, the writing on the wall. I saw. I let out a gasp when I saw it. He really was just a prankster, huh? Huh? Oh. Twins B? Not another one of these. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Twins B. Horse A. Yeah. Twins B. Whose name could that be at the end? With a single B in it? Yeah. Gonta, Kokishi, Kaido. Don't think about it that hard. Just look for B's in the last name. Kibo. Kibo. Okay. Chabashira. <laughs> All right. I kind of doubt it has anything to do with Tenko, though. Is this the second message? What could this possibly mean? It was that hard to just write a letter. <laughs> it was written by Kokichi like the other message. Are they meant to be read together? Then... In that case, it seems as though the message is incomplete. Two mystery message. The world is mine, Kokichioma, twins be. So this world is mine. This world is not saved. We'll figure it out. We'll, yeah. we, we can't sit here it's, forever. This world is something, though. I think that makes sense. For sure. That it's an abbreviation. But if this is incomplete, what is Kokichi trying to do by telling us? More memories. <gasps> but what? Again? Meow. <laughs> Yeah, we're really just following the breadcrumbs, huh? Yeah. Why couldn't we do this a long time ago? <laughs> that looks like Makoto. Yeah. As like an adult. Shuichi Saihara. Do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. 
As the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I... I do feel bad about this. I know how much you all wanted to run, even if it meant no longer being Ultimates. Those of you who have had to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this project are you 16 who haven't been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The fate of humanity? <laughs> Rose is so depressed. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive, What's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? It's true that this situation you're all being forced into is harsh. So harsh that you think it'd be better to just die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live but can't, for you 16 who can live are... Hope itself. So please, I don't want to see you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. <laughs> yeah, that's just like a confirmer, like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so he became the headmaster. That's cool. Hmm. Go Makoto. My head. I remembered something again. That's it. We were at Hope's Peak Academy. Or, yeah, just Pope's Peak. And we participated in the Gopher Project. At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. Uh, oh. Well, this might seal our way out. Or another hidden area? Oh, yeah. What did that do? Oh, I wonder if that was a really important thing. Like a really important machine for us. Maybe. But we'll find out in the next episode. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I love you so much. Like the video, subscribe. <gasps> Leave a comment, um, and goodbye. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited to get back into investigating. Honestly, so toodaloo. <laughs>
here? And I thought the image was so funny. We were honestly laughing for a good like 10 minutes. You remember that? Yeah, vaguely, yeah. And you know, looking back on it now, what better name for a channel that makes entertainment videos than a name that entertained us for 10 minutes, you know? Entertained like, them. I was just sitting here like, okay, whatever, I guess. I'm, I'm happy with it because a lot branched off of that now. Now we have rat model avatars. Uh, rat attack here, feeder. Put, put some of this on screen. I have this saved in my phone. I have original ideas for the logo. This was like shortly after. Uh, just random sketches in my one, of my one of my sketchbooks, like right down here. Eventually, after making the channel, we went more on brand with it and we decided like we should have like mascots for ourselves like i think part of the problem <laughs> please show the original i'm mascots. going to i'm going like to i'm gonna put it on screen. they were put, put the concept art put the ugly mascots we make because we were like we just mm -hmm. need something to identify ourselves a little bit we're just voices right now and I, I don't even know i was like pretty decent at art at the time i don't know how i drew something so ugly and thought it looked good um but yeah put those on screen these were the original rats mm-hmm and then eventually, months and months after that, I was like, it would be really cool if we had like VTuber models. And so just on a whim, I was not going to go through with it. But I actually went and made them and taught myself how to use Live 2D and VTube Studio and everything. And I actually That was made... like months long effort too. He I, was on that for a while. I was imp I mean, they could definitely be better, but I, they just look decently quality, I think. They're way better than the first rats, that's for sure. <laughs> Yes. Um, they're more like, I don't like using this word for it, but it works perfectly. They're like more marketable. You know what I mean? Like they're more like iconic in their like. Well, yeah, like, they're just like. Just better. Their quality is passable, but the last ones were disgusting looking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were so gross. And then uh, we have our new logo. Put that on screen. Whoa, compared to the old logo. Before, after, before, after. Very cool transition, guys, editing. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's come a long way with the actual like presentation of it because you have that crappy name idea. Well, it, it's all turned gone. Turned into so much more, you know? It, it's all turned into a lot more because, I mean, it started off with like, what were we using to edit? Cyberlink, Power Director or it's something? It's not a bad editor. No, if you want a good place to start for not that much money, that's what my, like, perfecting recommendation honestly there's not a whole lot we can do with premiere pro now that we couldn't have done with cyberlink but we also get like photoshop and a million other things with the big package. yeah we use it all so it's like plus i just like premiere pro more now because it's smoother more efficient or probably not i don't know it feels i, I like remember it. it feels like, like it. all of dang and rampa 2 a good chunk of persona 5 mm -hmm. all of amori all of amori and yeah, everything every else video I, before that I had to edit, well, the main series stuff, because there was stuff he did that was, like, separate. Because right. you had a bit better of a computer for it than I did at the time. A little bit. It wasn't great either, Right, though. but I was editing on, like, a laptop from my, <laughs> that I got when I was, like, in seventh grade, maybe, mm -hmm. or eighth grade, that could barely run PowerDirector, took forever to upload, like, badly edited videos. So there wasn't even that much it had to process when you thought about it. Right, and... and we didn't, I, dude. I remember the way I used to edit Amori. I thought it was totally fine. I would literally just like look at my phone and listen to it and be like, "This looks okay. This looks okay." It was terrible. You know, you know what? It was just the other day I clicked on a random part of Amori and I was in awe because we go back into like white space in the very beginning, and we are just wandering around looking for the way out for like a solid five minutes. Yeah. And barely it's... saying anything. We're looking at stuff we've already looked at. We're looking at just the same things. We're not saying anything. I, I and then eventually, even... like five minutes later, we find the way out and it's like, dude, cut that whole thing out. I know, <laughs> I know. I was terrible at it and like lazy and I didn't even think I was, mine was lazy. I used to think mine was like super good, but even watching some of my old videos, I'm like, it, it makes me embarrassed. <laughs> it does. How I, like even like talking I thought about it, was it now? Good. I, I thought it was good at the time. You know when you get like hot flashes from embarrassing situations? That's what I have right this second. Okay, I don't get that bad because I'm pretty proud of the stuff we make now. But we definitely came from zero, and we're still not like all the way there. Like all we didn't come from zero. We came from stupid. We came from like negative ten. Like I don't even know. We had like fish aquarium sounds in the back and we were in our dark empty basement <laughs> yep we had all oh, i think i have a picture somewhere we had 
I was in this tiny little swivel chair. And you I were, was in some random antique chair. You were chair. just in some random antique chair. And we had a folding table. A folding ladder. A folding ladder on top of a folding table with our microphone. This one. I have it right here. It didn't have this cover on it either. We had this blue snowball microphone. Not a bad microphone, honestly. No, again, especially if you're doing solo stuff, I recommend it. But for us, um, with a fish aquarium in the background and in the most echoey it's room miserable. ever. It's terrible. This is what it looks like. Not, yeah. Not a bad microphone, but um, yeah, we just had it placed in between ourselves like this. Mm -hmm. And even like for like the whole year after that, even when we moved up to recording up here in my room, you know what we would do? I had a different chair at the time, but oh, we, yeah, we, taped we, would, it. we would tape the <laughs> microphone right here. Mm -hmm. If you guys ever want to start on YouTube and you're like serious about it, you can start why? from nothing and you'll just learn as you go. Well, I'm not even saying that. Just buy a freaking microphone stand. What is wrong with you, Gage? Why didn't you buy a microphone stand I sooner? Know. <laughs> Especially it was like, what, like 20, 30 bucks? Yeah, we didn't think back then. I don't get it. That's just how that that's how it is, though. You that's how learn. I'm going to think in a year from now, too. It's like, what were we thinking back then? Because I look at like Amori and some of Danganronpa, too, with the same thing. Right. It's just like... Why did I do it like that? And we used to talk so... Like, I'm not even forcing this voice right now of, like, how I'm talking. We... Uh, no, he is. He has a very thick Indian accent when we turn the okay, cameras okay, up. Okay, true, but... Like, a year <laughs> and a half ago, I would be talking like this, and I... There would be very long mm -hmm. pauses, too, and I'd really have to think about what I'm saying a lot. But now it's like, just shut up, just say whatever you want. Like, I don't care. Um. <laughs> I would love to talk to someone that like we knew in high school and just see if they notice like different like vocal tones and habits and whatever else, you know? I would too. Uh, I'm, I'm curious say. about that because a lot of the people I still talk to from high school are people I've talked to regularly since right. then. Right, there's been some regularity. But I would like to see people who I haven't talked to in like two or three years and just see how they would look at me like, Gid, you used to be so quiet. Why don't you ever shut up now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I always wonder what like old friends would say when, if they found the channel. That's that's where it started. And I'm glad we started from so zero. Because then if there comes a day where we've made it, we got like a 10 million subscriber channel. Like, I, I don't even know. I'm just saying numbers. That's going to be a, a big, that's going to be a cool story, you know, starting well, yeah. from so low. Like if we started at the quality we're at now and made it there, I'd be like, that's pretty cool because we're not perfect now. Of course. I mean, no, there's a million things we could do better, but we're, honestly, just limitations make it hard. Yeah. And not being rich. Sorry if the chairs are squeaking. <laughs> there's another part of it, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we started from where we did. I just wish we would have caught on a little quicker to some of our mistakes but there was a lot of times during like dang and rampa 2 where i'm like why don't we have like as many subscribers as game grumps we're like just as good as them no we and then are. looking it's back on so it's like bad. oh my god you guys are delusional why do we think that you know even now game grumps is just so iconic that it's like i want to say like yeah i think we're just as good as game grumps but then i'll like listen to them say the funniest joke ever i would have never thought of in mm. a million years and i'm like dang it <laughs> but, but you know we'll what? get there probably for the better though you keep it original you know if you had the same jokes as game grumps then people would just watch game grumps yeah but it still wouldn't hurt to be just as funny just with a different type of humor because i don't have the same type of humor as game grumps and probably not as like sexual or dirty because they make a lot of sex jokes and <laughs> they stuff. do yeah they do but um i still like those types of jokes i just they don't come to my head right away i usually come up with fart jokes instead so or racist jokes well you know <laughs> <laughs> well maybe i'm not joking on that one i don't know uh, kind of weird uh, kind of funny you threw the word jokes in there that's kind of awkward anyways that's the story behind that that question's done stop asking it let's see what other questions we have i don't i don't know if the camera's gonna survive through all these questions oh i was gonna show this what my notes app you can like barely see it other other channel name ideas we passed on. And you guys are gonna hear these and you're gonna go, why'd you pick freaking Rat Attack instead of that? A lot of these are throwaway dumb names we wouldn't have ever used. What is Q-J-A-C-K? Just let me read them. Okay, okay, some of these are so bad. All right, 
I'll go down the list. You have Voodoo Dudes. That one's kind of catchy. I like Voodoo Dudes, honestly. Voodoo Dudes, like, welcome back to Voodoo Dudes. But neither of us know anything about Voodoo stuff whatsoever. Yeah. Or have any vested interest in it, so it'd be kind of weird. I but, same I, with rats. I remember a big inspiration on the name for me. First of all, my favorite manga is Oyasumi Pun Pun, who's written by Inio Asano or something. And that same guy wrote a different manga and for I love the name of it. I know nothing about the manga. I've never read it, but it's called Dead Dead Demons. Oh, you like the alliteration? I, I loved the sound of that, and I wanted something similar. Rat Attack is not similar at all, but I was coming up <laughs> with a lot of names that were somewhat similar to that. So Voodoo Dudes, Dead Dead Demons, you, you kind of see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I see where it like, comes from. It felt just as catchy, you know? Disclaimer, a lot of these are horrible throwaways, so don't go judging me if these are like the stupidest sounding names you've ever heard. You have Wise Guys, Bad Mouth, Redfish, Bluefish question mark. I don't know what the Bluefish was for. Pack Rat. There's some of where it started. Tupac. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like Tupac. <laughs> Tup <laughs> Tupac. Could you imagine if we went with Tupac and had nothing to do with Tupac? <sighs> we should have. You have Ghost Town. I kind of like Ghost Town. Boom Town, Slack Pack, Blast Off. Rat Clap, Atomic. <laughs> Ato atomic. Atomic what? I didn't finish that one. Suborbital. Sub, that's too much. That's too much. Pop Operative. Kind of like that one. Salvo. Cloud Burst. This one's clever. Oxymorons. That was kind of funny. Okay, I like oxymorons. True Fiction. Not sure what that one means. Oxymoronic. It's the same thing, but different. Good Day. <laughs> Good day, guys. I, maybe we should change to oxymorons. I like that one quite a bit. It's time to rebrand, guys. Here's a funny one. Wombo Combo. So half of these are probably names of channels already, honestly. This one, this one I actually thought was so clever. Don't judge me. Talk Talk. Because we're talking and there's two of us, so you do talk twice. And I, I loved that one at the time. I don't know why. Spirit Rapture? That one's just stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I like Spirit Rapture. Zombies? Z I, zombies. Nothing clever about it. Just zombies. I think I wanted zombie like aesthetic, maybe, but I didn't know how to make the name funny. Q Jack. That's just a cool name. Okay. Ultrasonic or Supersonic. All these are like song names and stuff now. Yeah, probably. You have Spirit House. This one Ethan liked a lot. Uh, Incorporated. <laughs> I still think that's funny. And then at the very bottom. <laughs> they can't see that. It'll focus. You have Rat Attack. And that one has, I think the X's were supposed to be our like votes. <laughs> and it says XXL. I don't, I don't know who the L was, probably you. Me? But. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but that was the name we chose, Rat Attack. And look how far it's come. Oh, here, I had a whole list of words we could make names out of. You have shack, pack, fish, zoo, canoe, view, deja vu, persevere, atlas, voodoo, page, hot, pollen. I think these are meant to be like said with each other. So you have like hot pollen, isotope wave, shoot yarn, sleepy red. This one I thought was kind of cute sounding. Pitter patter polo. I could see going these, for the dead dead demons thing again. These exact words could be written on the like mental asylums walls and blood. Mm-hmm. How some of them sound. You have a crack bonkers. Crack bonkers. Side sulk. <laughs> what does that say? Tight pores? The thigh pores. Ew. <laughs> spooky attack. That's cute. I don't mind spooky attack. Tape copter. Slack pack. Yippee hoppy. Show yo. Helium Globe, Coral Toothpick, <laughs> Karate Chop Revolution. I thought making Revolution a part of it would be cool. Okay, actually, I really like Karate Chop Revolution. Blowfish Swoosh, Ground Splash, Jet Spite, Overcast Hand. If we ever make like a second channel for literally anything, can we please use some of these just nonsense names? Karate Chop Revolution. I kinda, guys, if you wanna make a channel called Karate Chop Revolution, we will sue you into the ground. But that's uh, that's how that's how we that's that's how we came to be. I don't know why, but that's what happened. 
our channel would be at a thousand billion subs if we chose Karate Chop Revolution. Yeah, honestly, I do feel like there might be some missed opportunities with Karate Chop Revolution. That answers a lot of these questions. Some Someone asked, why rats? Coincidence. Coincidence. Yeah, just... <laughs> just we thought the name was funny. Yeah. <laughs>